Hi, I am Osama Hassanin, Project Controls Power BI Developer. Welcome to my channel. My channel will be mainly for discussing Project Controls Interactive Reporting. The first subject I want to discuss is how to use Primavera Backup Files, XCRs, as a source of data for reporting. So we will design our report based on the XCRs from the baseline and from the periodical updates. Before starting how to do, let's first start with what should we expect to have. I have designed two reports based on the XCR data only, one in Excel and one in Power BI. Let me take you in a tour inside this file. So I want you to feel the easiness of the process, the mechanism and the expected report we can have. I hope you will enjoy this tour. So let's start. Now let's open Primavera. In the project layout, I have two projects. The baseline, data date 1st of January, starting and finish in end of May, sure with earned value zero, and this is a total budget and the performance completion is zero. The second one is the update. The data date is 15 of March, starting in 13 of January, not 2nd of January as planned, Expected finish end of July. This is the earned value and with performance completion is 2.83. Let's take this information to our video tray. We will use it later in our comparison. Now let's open the updated project. This is the activities layout, which shows the activities located under worker breakdown structure. From this layout, I want the data of level 2 of the WBS for our later comparison. And I will save it in my video tray. Now let's open my Excel file, which has a link to the XCR backup files of the baseline and updated projects. In my Excel workbook, the first sheet, it will be links to files. As you can notice here, the baseline XCR with its path and the XCR for update 15 of March with its path. After this identification, I'll go to data, fresh all, and the process of the importing the data from the XCR to my Excel file will start. Now let's go to the first report overall progress I want to show you. This is the data of the project. Let's use the comparison from the photos that we put it in the video tray. As you can see here, the baseline start 2nd of January, baseline finish, actual start, forecasted finish as per our data. You have here all the data about the total budget cost, the actual cost, and the early planned to date cost, and so on. This is the progress of the project. This is the early planned percentage and late planned percentage. From this chart, here I identified the progress, which is 3%, and the remaining of the work, it will be 97%. From the planned perspective, if you see that the planned it should be 22.1, so I have progress 3%, delayed by 19% and this is the remaining of the plan. Let's clear the sheet now. As you can see here, I have a missing data. I want to add the data date. Let me create now the data date and add it to the time data. I'll go to my one of my table. I will add measure. I'll call it data date example because sure i have another data date equal minimum of in primavera data date under column called last recalculate date in the project table check formula it is okay let's format it the date this is the format and i'll close it okay under the same table, I can go here down. This is the data date I created. I'll add it to 
to the first value. So the data date added here is 15 of March as per our data. Also, let's create another example about the actual progress against the remain. Let's add a pie chart, but pivot chart with a table. As you can see here, it is used data model inside the workbook. In the design, I change that chart type to by chart, and then in my table, I will create one measure for the actual progress. Actual progress example. The actual progress is percentage between the total actual cost divided by the total target cost. Target cost is the budget cost. So sum of actual actual cost under this table divided by sum of target cost under the same table. Check DAX formula. It is, there is no error. The number, it will be formatted to percentage with one decimal. Okay. I'll find it down. This is actual progress. I'll put it in the value. As you can see here, the progress is 2.8, the same value. The remaining actual progress, it will be 100% minus this progress. Let's add also another measure. Actual progress remain example. One minus the same measure that I have created. Check the formula. Number, it will be percentage with one decimal. I'll add the percentage in the values. The actual percentage is 2.8 and the remaining it will be 97.2 and I'll add here the labels. Now let's go to another sheet. This sheet is for work breakdown structure. We have stored in the video tray the data about the level 2 of the WPS. This is the data grabbed from the XER with actual progress, early planned progress, late planned, baseline start date, finish date, forecast date for this level, and so on. Level 2, you have a zero progress. I have created interactive view for the chart for the WPS with a slicer. If we select the first one, it will give us the progress, 6%, and the remaining. Level 2 it is zero. Also, I have created a sparkle line based on the data in the level 1 and level 2. 16 planned against 6, 16, 6, and 28 versus 0. So this is the progress of the component of the project. Whatever component of the project, areas, zones, floors, and so on, we can get the data from the XCR file and we can present it here interactively. Let's go to another example. If you can see, all the data is pivot, pivot tables. I have created a quick schedule with pivot chart. In level one of two, this is the activities. The legend of this pivot chart, the red is the planned activities. The black is the actual, and the blue is the forecast. If I go to level two of two, it is interactive as you can see, we are creating our pivot charts and pivot tables based on the data set I have it in my Excel. Let's go to another amazing exercise, cost distribution. Cost distribution, here I have presented the cost per month, planned distribution and late distribution and the actual distribution for the cost. Also this chart presenting the cumulative chart. I have added one slicer, all this data also based on the pivot tables and pivot charts. If I want to take interval from January up to September, it will be interactive with me. If I clear the filter, it will return back. As you can see, I didn't create dashboard contains all this information. 
as I want you to see the raw data, how I created the data. But in the end, I can take all this chart and put it together in one dashboard. Now, let's create a new update for our example project in Primavera. Now, update some activities. Schedule the project with data date 30 of June. Export the project data in XCR format. After that, I will open the new XCR in our Excel file to fill the updating process. Now, in our Excel, let's add the new XCR update under the field of update number one. Now, as you can see, still the data date 15 of March. Data, refresh all. It will take a couple of seconds until it will be refreshed. Now, the data date changed. All the progress, all the percentage, all the cost, everything updated. Even this chart that we have created before. In the WPS, F9, everything changed, schedules also changed, cost distribution, as you can notice here, the actual cost, it is end of June, data date, it is now end of June, and so on. Once you identify the new XCR and then refresh the data, you will get all the update. It will vary from few seconds up to minutes, depending on the number of activities in the XCR and also the module itself that you created for your reporting. Now, let's make a quick tour inside the data. Mainly, I am using two things. The first one is Power Query Editor. Power Query is a tool available in Excel and in Power BI that allow you to import or link the data from many sources and then clean, transform, and reshape this data as needed. Power Query has a language called M language. This is a functional language. It can be used in all levels from beginners and the advanced user or programmer. We will use it in the next videos a lot. The second tools we will use is Power Pivot for Excel, which allow you to handle millions of rows of data into a single Excel workbook. Create relationship between the tables, create calculated columns and measures using formulas, build pivot tables and pivot charts, and then analyzing the data. Power BI is using the same concept, and we will use all these features later. After importing the XCR data into Excel, and create many reports. Now, let's go to the next level, the exciting level about Power BI, and see how we can handle the same, importing the data, and then creating our reports. 